What's up, Cross Roasted Barbell? It's Friday, April 17th, 2020. Let's start off with our strength for the day. So strength, we have two parts, A and B. We're gonna go every three minutes on the three minutes, we're gonna go six tempo bench press. Our tempo is gonna be four, one, X, one. So when we express tempo in numbers and letters, it's typically gonna be four parts. We have the eccentric, we have the bottom range of mo end range of motion, we have the concentric, and then we have the top range of motion. So four, one, X, one means four seconds down, one second pause, explode up, one second pause at the top. We're gonna to do that for six. We're gonna be building through for six rounds. B, we have three rounds, two per set. We're gonna go two parts. We're gonna go 15 bent over row with a barbell and then 15 eccentric barbell curl. So the first part, you're bent over row. We're gonna just bend over. It's like we're gonna make a tabletop with our back. Chest is facing the floor. Um, we're gonna stay stationary. The only thing that's gonna be moving is the elbow and the shoulder. We're gonna be pulling that elbow up nice and high, pulling that barbell right to our belly button. We're gonna go overhand grip and we're gonna go with a clean grip. 15 eccentric barbell curl. So with the eccentric, all we're worried about is the lowering of the weight, the muscle lengthening. So looking at bicep lengthening, we want to slow that process down and you guys can do cheat curls for the concentric. So basically you're going to grab your barbell, flip it up so it's at the top and we're going to lower super, super, super slow. That's up to you as, as much as you wanna make it hurt. And then once we hit the bottom, we're going to kind of rock and roll like we're doing a reverse grip clean and uh, cheat that weight back up. I'm not worried about the concentric, just the eccentric. We're gonna go back and forth for three rounds. Middle part, you guys have a super fun one. We're gonna get the, uh, the old weight vest out. We're gonna bust it out and we're gonna do a Cindy variation. So we're gonna do a normal Cindy duration, 20 minutes. And with your weight vest, we're gonna go strict Cindy. Five pull up, 10 push up, 15 air squat. Now. If you are a um, athlete that has uh, less experience than most, let's go ahead and cut that volume down and let's look at the time domain first. So that time domain is 20 minutes. Let's cut it down to like 15 if you're a newer athlete. And if you're super new, let's go ahead and cut it down to like 10. Cindy is one of those workouts where you need to be careful about the volume you're building. It's not going to catch up with you in the moment, but days down the road, it's gonna be still hurting and we don't want that to be an issue. So. If you are a newer athlete, absolutely don't wear a vest, cut down your time that you're doing this workout. Now, with your pull-up, we're gonna go normal pull-up, normal strict pull-up. We need to make sure that we are at a dead hang and then chin to bar. For your push-up, we're gonna go ahead and thighs are gonna stay off of the floor no matter what, and we're gonna go with your chest to the floor. Remember, your belly and your chest are not the same thing. Chest to floor only. Full extension at the top of the push-up. 15 air squat, we're gonna make sure that our hips are opening. That's the big fault with air squats is that people will leave their hips back. Their legs will get straight, but their hips will be back. We need to make sure hip extension is reached as well. Now, depth of an air squat, we wanna, if we were to put a marble on your knee and, and we were to squat, that marble would roll down into your hip because we are creating a deficit there. Um, hip is gonna be below the top of the knee. Uh, weight vest, 20 and 14 pounds. Now, scaling this. We can go uh, pull-ups, we can go maybe jumping pull-ups, we can go eccentric pull-ups, we could go with a barbell row, we could go with a, a table pull-up, we could go with a door frame pull-up, we could go with a barbell in a rack modified pull-up. We have a lot of ways we can modify the pull. As long as you're getting a pull-in, I'm okay with basically however you're gonna uh, modify that. Now, next, your, your push-up modification. We can go eccentric push-ups where you're just going on the down part. You don't necessarily have to go slow, but just lowering yourself down to the floor. And if you need to uh, kind of cheat your way back up, that's fine too. We can also elevate. The normal way that we want to elevate um, and modify our push-ups, we want to raise our hands up, leave our feet where they are, raise our hands up. So go ahead and find a box, maybe a couch, a chair, and just raise that up. We don't want to go from the knee. Knee push-ups um, are not what we're looking for here. Air squats, I don't think we need to modify air squats, but if we do have to, we could go with alternating lunges um, or maybe a step up. That might be okay too. Last part, equipment workout. You guys have a monster of a workout here. Three rounds for time. We're gonna go 15 renegade row, 15 dumbbell squat, 15 handstand pushups. Dumbbells are gonna be 50s and 35s. So looking at this workout, it doesn't look too bad, but it's gonna get really tough. Your 15 renegade rows. One renegade row is a push up. Dumbbell row right, dumbbell row left. That's one rep. Then 15 dumbbell squats. I need both dumbbells on your shoulders. Your hands can just be resting on top, that's fine. 15, air, uh, 15 dumbbell squats. 
Then 15 handstand push-ups. So on a wall, you're gonna go handstand push-ups. Kipping is definitely allowed. Now, modifying this workout. So renegade rows, we can obviously just go with a, a lighter weight. Um, you could even go with no weight. You could do a push-up and then just do like a shoulder tap on each side. Push-up, shoulder tap on each side. That might be an excellent way for you to scale this. Uh, dumbbell squat. We can just get rid of the dumbbells and then it would just be an air squat. Um, you could go one dumbbell in like a goblet, one dumbbell on the shoulder. That might be a way to, to modify this. A 15 uh, handstand push-up, 15 handstand push-ups, we could go with um, a overhead press. Um, worst case scenario, maybe like a, a 20 second overhead hold if we can't press and the weights aren't appropriate for the pressing. Um, either way, I, I think that the, uh, this workout is going to be a monster of a workout. So. That is your Friday, April 17th, 2020. Let's have a great start to the weekend. I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys get after it.